Now it's time to make the sangria. And I've been making this sangria for well over 20 years. The recipe was developed by my friend, Adam Reed, who is the equipment guy on America's Test Kitchen and Cook's Country. And I love it because it is very simple. There's just a little bit of citrus, a little bit of sweetness, but it's really just about enhancing the wine and making it summery. So no bells and whistles here. So with we'll start, we're gonna make a big old batch. So two bottles of wine, and for that you need two lemons and three oranges. And I'm gonna slice the lemons and oranges, two of each. I don't tend to use the ends, just sort of the meaty centers. I'm just gonna slice them nice and thin. I'm just gonna add the lemons to my big old sangria serving jar, which I bought specifically for sangria. Now I'm gonna do the same with two oranges. Trim off the ends. This one I'm not gonna slice, I'm gonna juice it right into the container. So, two oranges sliced, one juiced. We're gonna add these to the container. As I mentioned, we're gonna juice this orange. I know it's a lime juicer, but it works just fine for oranges. Now, the liquids. We're gonna add four ounces of simple syrup. And this simple syrup is simply equal parts water and sugar. And to make simple syrup, I just use a big old glass measuring cup. I use boiling water from the kettle and an equal amount of sugar, whisk it together and you're good to go. So four ounces simple syrup. And this next ingredient, Grand Marnier, is really what makes good sangria. So you need an orange liqueur, and you could use triple sec or other orange liqueurs you find on the market. But Grand Marnier, I think, gives it a little something extra because it's triple sec plus brandy. And it is great for cocktails because it has a really nice balance of the orange bitterness and the sweetness. So to make a killer sangria, use Grand Marnier. Four ounces of that. All that's left in this very simple sangria is the wine. Now, don't use an expensive wine here. I never go over $10. And I like to use a medium bodied wine like a Merlot or a Pinot Noir. Uh, screw tops, <laughs> there's a rule in our house. Uh, if it has a screw top and you know there's no pomp and circumstance to using a corkscrew. So my husband taught me to do this, ready? So you professionally open a, a bottle with um, a screw on top. <laughs> Just makes it a little fancier. All right, so two bottles of wine. This is also a restaurant trick. If you spin, if you swirl the bottle while you empty it, it comes out twice as fast. That's all there is to this super simple sangria. Say that 10 times fast. Super simple sangria, super simple sangria. Now you gotta let this sit for at least two hours, but you can do it up to eight hours in the fridge so it gets nice and cold. The sangria. Now, the sangria, if you notice, there's that cylinder in the middle. That's filled with ice so that it keeps the sangria cold without watering it down. All right, into my favorite glasses. Ah, sangria makes everything better. Thanks for watching. What'd you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're excited to cook this week. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. You can get today's recipes and more for free at our website, americastestkitchen.com slash julia at home.